Yo guys, welcome to the channel once again guys. So this is gonna be part two of the 1M wide body. And on the last video, uh, we had just gotten done uh, riveting it on the over fenders. So now in this video, we're gonna be doing actually gonna be the molding part of this procedure and pretty much getting it ready for paint. So if you guys don't know who I got these flares from, I got it from Jay, like I told you guys in the previous video. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting a set for yourself, if you guys want to do this to your car, to your 135i or 120i or whatever one series you have, I'll have his Facebook uh, profile down below in the description. You guys can add him on Facebook, hit him up, and get a set for yourself. Uh, let him know that Efren sent you. And if you guys don't have Facebook, you guys can hit me up on Instagram, and I'll try to get this sorted out for you guys, so you guys can do this for your guys self as well. Uh, so without further ado guys, let's get into it and let's finish this car off. For the ones you, you're gonna notice on the on the passenger side, it's really close to the gas cap. So we actually got a deal to uh, mold it on their best. You're gonna have to take the gas cap off. So for that, it's pretty simple. Just a uh, screwdriver, take a little tab right here. Uh, put a screwdriver, pry open the cap and then slide it off. And then it comes off. Now when you close it, if you look over here, it's a, uh, you can actually come in here and uh, sand down into here. It's pretty much you're gonna have to sand down enough to the point where, uh, like how I'm doing over here, sand it down. I'll show you guys a little more what I'm doing here. I just wanna show you guys how the cap comes off real quick, but pretty much so you can really get in there and uh, make that area nice and clean. So you yeah, guys that. And now let me just show you guys what I'm doing over here and how I'm prepping it, why I'm doing this and how I'm prepping the edge so you can have a flawless finish. So to prepare this, to go on to here, uh, like I told you guys, I'm gonna be using some uh, fiberglass mesh, which is gonna fill in the gap, smoothen it out. I'm not, I don't wanna use bond or anything like that for the main molding. Uh, I'm gonna be using that type of body filler for the final finish on any small imperfections. But for the big transition from here to here, I will be using fiberglass um, material. So it's gonna be fiberglass mesh and I'll be using the fiberglass resin to uh, harden it. So pretty much uh, for that, you have to sand down the parts, which is gonna be the fender, a slight. So with a um, 80 grit and also the actual metal, take off the paint with a 60 or 80 grit according to the rest and in, uh, instructions. So pretty much that's just to remove any paint that uh, is on the panel and really any gel coat or anything that's left behind from the uh, molding of this uh, over fender. So then when you put the resin, it has two nice materials uh, to blend on, to stick onto, and won't uh, peel off or in the future uh, come off or break or anything like that. It's gonna have a good bonding. And let me just show you guys the resin that I'm gonna be using. This is the product that I'm using. This is what I picked up at my local, uh, my local body shop uh, or body shop store. It's an all resin. And then according to the sales people there, they're telling me that this should work good on bonding onto metal like the original fender and should be good for it to be bonding onto fiberglass. So let me go ahead and finish this, clean this up right here. This, um, now I don't have a whole lot of room to work with. So obviously I'm taking less off and right around this area, I'm gonna be taking so little off and as well as over here. But around this area where I have a good area to work with, I'm taking much more off. Just I wanna make sure this thing is super smooth over here and then and it'll be easier for me to kind of blend it in if I have more room to work with. And up here, where it's a small area, I will have to be working in small areas and still gonna shoot for a perfect finish, but it is gonna be a little harder. So just keep that in mind. This panel, uh, I have to make it all the way around, kind of how I have it smooth here and as wide as I can here. And once I have everything ready and uh, sand it down, I'll show you guys the final product and then we're gonna get started with applying the fiberglass. So I'm finally done prepping this. I uh, went ahead and sanded it down a little more in here to kind of get some of that uh, black off a little bit. And then uh, I took off, finished doing this over here, cleaned that a little more right here. Uh, I took off a side of skirt because it was gonna get on the way of me sanding down. So I don't really want to dam damage this by accident while sanding it, so took it off, took it out. I didn't really grind on here much because from here on this way, it's kind of a big step. So it doesn't have to be so quick. It has to be kind of a big step going out here to align up with a side skirt. So right here is fine without shaving so much off of it. But the rest of it, you can tell, it is pretty smooth now. 
Uh, I didn't take too much off because if you take too much off, you are gonna weaken up the points where you put the rivets on there. So just be careful with that. But I have a good surface all the way around. I uh, use some uh, alcohol, spray some alcohol and wipe it down. Um, I just keep alcohol in a bottle like this around because I'm always needing this for cleaning uh, other things, not just stuff like this, but comes in handy. So just some alcohol, wipe it down. And at this point, it's pretty much ready for me to uh, start applying some of the uh, fiberglass. So this is what I got going on for that. Like I told you guys, I got that resin that I uh, bought and also have this uh, fiberglass mat. So I'll be using this fiberglass mat to fill in the kind of gap. And then I also got, uh, picked up this roller for fiberglass and then this. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up right now and mix it up and then I'm gonna start applying some of this. So this has been sitting for a little while already, maybe uh, 10, 15, probably like 20 minutes actually. Uh, it's pretty hard already. Obviously it's not ready to get sanded or anything yet. I'm gonna have to let this cure overnight and then I will continue sanding it tomorrow once it's cured. And then I'll proceed with the body filler and um, make it fully, fully smooth. But this is how it's looking right now. I cut around this edge right here. Some of the uh, chair was kind of uh, overlapping it. Uh, same down here with edge. I cut some of the material off here and down there as well. And then uh, I made sure I got good amount of material right around the edge all the way around. And then enough material on top and on the bottom to make a smooth transition. And then down here, I added quite a bit, starting from right around here onto the actual um, quarter panel to kind of uh, mimic the flow of the side skirts. So either way, if this is not perfect, which is probably not going to be, I will just end up using some fiberglass body filler uh, to finish the job. Since the main critical point is going to be right at the seam. That's where it could potentially crack in the future uh, from flexing or whatnot, which I highly doubt this is going to do because this thing's super stiff already. But in case it does, that will be the point where it would crack. So. Um, and so I'm not super worried about this area over here where the side skirt would follow. So uh, pretty much this side is fully done for today. I'll come back at this tomorrow when it's fully cured. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same procedure on the other side. And then after letting it cure, uh, we're gonna continue working with doing the sanding. Yo guys, so actually it's been a few days. I got really busy with other stuff and I wasn't able to get back onto working on the 135i. We're finally back at it. So as you can see, this thing is really cured. Um, it's been, I let it for the whole weekend. I originally was leave it for like 24 hours. Well, it's been like three days. So it's been quite a, quite a bit longer than that. So this thing is pretty um, solid already. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some gloves on and then also respirator because you definitely don't want not want to be inhaling this stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then start signing down and then it's kind of start giving it the shape. Hopefully I have a pretty good solid base on this and I don't have to add a whole lot more body filler once I'm fully signing this down, but we'll see right now. Um, it's gonna go ahead and start signing off the top area, which is, I don't really need any other uh, body parts to uh, check with. And then after I get this kind of area sorted out and then the gas cap, then I'll probably have to put it on the bumper to actually figure this part out around here. And then probably have to put a side skirt a few times on and off to double check the area, which I already know that I'm gonna have to be doing some filling right around here because I did not put enough uh, fiberglass. Uh, but we'll see how everything goes once I start getting the rough shape out of it. Ready to go guys. I got some uh, nice goggles and I got a respirator on and we're good to go. So let's get this. So I am finally done doing the first sanding of the fiberglass. So uh, right on this one, I sanded down uh, pretty much all the high spots uh, of the fiberglass. 
and I was left with a pretty uh, smooth finish. I did have some low spots and stuff like that, but that doesn't wear about yet. So I went all the way around and then right about around this corner where I told you guys on earlier that I had to put a rivet on here when you rivet it, not in the corner, but a little more back. Uh, this part, I uh, ended up sanding it down uh, up until pretty much just cut it off, off of the actual um, over fender. And that's because, uh, you guys can see, it just wasn't really sticking on here. It was just uh, kind of peeling off a little bit. And also I have to go quite a bit low on here to actually be able to match the fender. You kind of see from a different angle. So right here, I'm gonna use a body filler uh, to actually shape it out. So, and I'm gonna apply body filler to the whole thing right now. And after that cures, then I'm gonna go ahead and sign it down. I'm not gonna be using Bondo. What I'll be using for this step is gonna be some fiberglass body filler, which has fiberglass in it. So it's a lot more uh, strong and it's also water resistant. It just has a whole lot better properties than Bondo does. Bondo will be for the finishing, tiny little pinholes and stuff like that. So let me just show you guys the product that I'll be using. And then I'll go ahead and apply that. And then I'll catch you guys on the next step. So this is how I really fully cured. Uh, let it sit for about half an hour or so. Directions I should say 15 to 20 minutes. So this is solid hard already. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is resand this all the way down again. So down there, I'll put a side screw back on and get the shape uh, pretty close to the side skirts. Same one goes back here. I gotta get this so it matches the bumper. And then after that, sand everything down, make it super smooth. And then if I need to, I'll hit it again with one more coat of this on the areas that I need to. And then I can move on to using Bondo. So this is the other side. You can see this is pretty much perfectly flush. Uh, this is not on here fully, fully on there good. But you can see already that it looks much better than the other side. This gap is pretty uniform all the way across and it's pretty smooth. So this is what we're gonna be looking to do on both sides. Uh, so just kind of for demonstration. It's kind of dirty, so. Uh, but it does fit super nice. And it's almost seamless once you actually have it. Uh, on there properly. But this is what we're looking for on both sides. so if you guys made it to this point it's pretty much about to be the end of the video um, so let me just show you guys the final product and how the fan uh, the over fenders look like how the recorders kind of just everything kind of shaped out so I'll show you guys this and then right now I'm kind of cleaning up the car getting it ready so I can take it to the, to the paint shop tomorrow so that's gonna be the point for tomorrow and then I'll see if I can get some clips of the process of the car getting painted as well so if, it, if I am able to I'll throw some in this video as well but if i don't sorry guys uh that's because i wasn't able to film it obviously so let me show you guys the car and then we'll go from there it's the final product guys uh they are super smooth uh i don't have a whole lot of body filler in this one like i told you guys i want to stay away from body filler as much as i could so the majority is actually just uh fiberglass that kind of gave it i had enough fiber, uh, fiberglass and resin for this side to just get quite a bit heavy on there and I, it took me a lot of work to sand all through, through all of the fiberglass but the final product was well worth it because there's only a few spots where i really had to use body filler like around here and then some spots down here where it kind of changed shape randomly and 
around here, this area a little bit, just kind of the finishing touches and stuff. But I also, what I didn't show you guys is I finished, kind of finished it off by spraying primer on the whole thing. Um, you guys don't see any primer right now because I sanded the primer down. So the primer that I used was some low quality primer and I obviously did not want the paint to go over that since I rather them use the good quality primer. But the reason I used the primer was to get all the little tiny little pinholes or any tiny small imperfections covered up. So I applied a pretty good coat of primer and then I sanded it all the way back down, which might sound kind of uh, pointless but I think it'll be worth it. And if you guys are gonna be painting this yourself, I would just use some good quality primer to begin with, and you wouldn't have to sign it all the way back down like I did. That was just me not having the correct primer at the moment. So that's kind of why, the reason I did that. So, but yeah, um, obviously I don't have the uh, side screws and in, in the panels on right now, but I can assure you guys these fit super good when I was done. And you guys will see the final product once I get the cart back, so. There's not gonna be of me uh, any lying or anything. Uh, you guys will see the final product once it's finally back from paint shop. So uh, if you guys look at it from the side, it looks super smooth. It does follow the curve of the car. Uh, the camera kind of throws it off a little bit, but uh, it looks super smooth in person and it just looks super natural. Moving over to the other side, kind of the same thing. It's the camera, kind of makes it a little weird, but from Person, it looks super good. Right now, it just kind of looks a little weird because of all the different colors and stuff. So it kind of throws it off, but I was able to get these uh, edges nice and uh, uh, smooth to where it lined up perfectly with the bumper. And my bumper was used bumper, which has some defects. So if you guys have an OEM um, brand new bumper, it's gonna be even more of a flawless finish. And kind of the same idea on this side. On this side, like I told you guys, I used less fiberglass. Um, because I ran out of the resin and I wasn't able to put as many layers But so you guys can see that I had to use a lot more body filler around some areas to really make up for that uh, For the uh, lower um, amount of fiberglass, which is kind of a shame, but it should work good either way um, Then another thing is these are super strong You could do a pull up off of them if you wanted to you could pull over your whole body and these are not going to be cracking off or breaking anything the fiberglass, uh, I sticked onto the metal really good. Also the or the fiberglass on here. So it's a pretty good bond with that. And then the fact that I use so many rivets to hold it down, it just made a super strong finish. You will not be having any issues with it uh, in the future. And then I still have to cut the inside part of it so I could really uh, have that good room that I want for the tires. But as far as everything goes, guys, this is pretty much finished. Uh, I'm just gonna get everything else cleaned up. So when it gets to the paint shop, they have a, a car that's pretty clean to work with and they can send, you know, do whatever they gotta do. Uh, not, gonna, not gonna do anything prep for them or anything like that. Just trying to wanna get a good clean car to them and they can decide on what's the best way to take it on from there. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys made it to the end of the video, uh, thank you for that. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on the final, final product when the car is fully out of the paint shop and I get it back. And we're going to do some photo shoots and some video shoots so you guys don't want to miss that out. I promise you. So go ahead and subscribe. Like this video because it's going to help me a lot uh, with the YouTube algorithm. So do that, please. And yeah, guys, uh, if you guys are planning on doing this on your car, uh, I'm not going to tell you it's hard. I'm not going to tell you it was easy. All I can tell you it was time consuming. And sometimes it was kind of fun. Sometimes it was kind of a pain in the ass. So, uh, is it worth it in my opinion? I think it's well worth it. So, um, please buy and doing it. I highly encourage you. So, so then here, till next time. Peace out, guys.